Uh, this is the Barista Bernardo Antonio, uh, once again at the Dog uh, Coffee. So today, I uh, just want to show you a small uh, demo on how to calibrate the Lamadoco spatter. Remember in our last video, we did how to calibrate the Lamadoco linear PV. So this machine, it has the same features and characteristics like the Lamadoco linear PV. So we yell at the camera and uh, we are able to do it. So, the uh, first thing first, the way I always say, as my slogan, we have the control panels and the things that we need to know when we are doing the calibration. Uh, yeah, so uh, we'll go straight to our calibration uh, and I will show you the control panels on what you're supposed to do for us to calibrate uh, our machine. So the first thing that you need to know is actually the buttons that we have in our, in our machines, in the Strada machine. So here we have the menu button. Is a very important button that will enable, enable you to go into the uh, settings in the machine. Then we have uh, a single dose cap and a double dose cap with arrows. It means that they help you to navigate during your calibration. So straight from the point, uh, what I'll do, I will uh, long press uh, the button uh, over here. Is the menu button, but always use the left group head. That's where the calibration always takes. Don't use the right uh, group head, it's always the left group head. So I'll long press this one and long press it for something like uh, 10 seconds. Then it will prompt you to menu uh, press B3 to exit, but you don't have to exit, but it will prompt you to this. After it has prompted you to this, if you really now need to uh, navigate inside the machine and able to know what you want to do, you can use enter the double button or the single button. So for instance, I'll uh, press this one, it will go to a group dose setting. So the group dose setting, it means that now we want to set our doses in our groups. And also press over this one, it will take you to water dose setting. Water dose setting, if you want to set your water tank. Maybe the water tank, uh, you want it to get a flow in three seconds. Or maybe you want to increase the, the temperatures. You can able to use this one. If I press also this one, it will go to the coffee boiler settings. The coffee boiler settings, uh, which is uh, over here, like this machine has two coffee boilers. If the boiler is low, you can increase from here. Then we also have the three infusions, which are very important. They help in the channeling of the water uh, and the coffee parts into the group head. How many seconds? Is it three seconds? Is it five seconds? You can also do it over here. And again, also we have the cup warmer, uh, which is enabled in my case here. Very important tool when you're using the cups in a restaurant or in a coffee shop, they make the cup to be warm. So it is enabled all your cups to be put in a room temperature. If you put it uh, 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 disabled, they will be cold. Then if you go over there, that's actually what we have in our, in our menus. Then if you want to exit, just press this up once, it will take you back to the normal uh, uh, we reach our coffee. Uh, the first thing that you need to do, you need to make sure that your water filter is uh, clean. Very and green over here. As usual, as a barista. Then uh, have your water filter. Make sure that it is stirred. It is zero zero. Then I'll take my dose uh, from my grinder. Today we will not talk about the grinder because in my last topic we have discussed on how to calibrate the grinders. Uh, check on the dose. So today we are doing 18.5, uh, 18.7. So the calibration depends actually on your, on your dose. Then for here, make sure that it's a nice level. I'll use my OCD over here. Just uh, give it uh, a nice. Then I'll exact exactly 30 pounds pressure over there. And always make sure you don't have the chips. So uh, I have my uh, my dose over here, uh, 18.5, uh, the way we have uh, got it. So the next thing that you do, we'll go into our machine. So as I said before, we we'll long press the, the menu button for five seconds so that it can take us to the calibration mode. Uh, keep on holding. Then you see the, the menu. After the menu, as uh, I showed you, uh, through the buttons, we need to calibrate so we go to the dosing. Press over here, it will go to a group dose setting. So for the group dose setting, we need to accept that you want to do the, the dosing. So how do we accept? You press again the menu button, 
it will take you to the program volume dose. So you want to get the volume, actually. Uh, then after that one also we accept. Then it will tell you press to enter to exit. So if you see this prompt, the machine is telling you now that we are ready to calibrate. Uh, press to enter. Then I'll take my scale, uh, place it over here. Uh, then I'll take my, my water filter, uh, extract it inside the group head, family, like this. I have my shooters uh, over here. Press them over here because I'll uh, have a split of, of espresso. I make sure I tear. So for my right hand, this one is the volume that we'll be getting from our left uh, hand side. This one is the time. So the time that we'll be getting from this left hand side from our scale is after the drop of the copy from the group head. Then when I touch my calibration, we'll get the number of pulses uh, over here and also we'll get the total brewing ratios over here. So if you get the number of the total brewing ratios in time minus the time uh, after the espresso has extracted, we'll get the pre infusion. So uh, we'll start. If I press over here because I want a double, and my ratio uh, 18.5, I'll do like uh, 1 is to 2, uh, 36, but I'll adjust it a little bit uh, longer uh, to 40 ml because our coffee is a bit old. So to agitate the coffee and get the dominant flavor. So if you start, you see the pulses will be able to start. So we press this one, uh, double. You see? Once the coffee starts dropping, I'll press also uh, my, my my button over here. You can see the pulses are, are going. So the pulses are actually the amount of water which are impacted uh, from the group head into the coffee. So we want to see uh, in 36, in 40 ml, I will stop my calibration in 40, over there. So uh, we have really got our, our brewing, uh, brewing ratio. So uh, from 18.5, we have got our 41 ml. So this one is our yield. And 21 seconds. These 21 seconds are the seconds after the coffee has started dripping from the group head. But the machine is prompting us press to enter. We didn't save our settings. So if you want to save our settings and we want to set our, our dosage and our volumetrics, we press the menu button. This one, like this. It will take you to program volume dose. But what do we do? We need to exit. If you want to exit, uh, to go to the normal uh, control panels, we we'll have to press these two buttons simultaneously, the way I'm doing. Then we we'll see what is happening here. So I'll press like this, see what's happening on the dashboard. It has taken you back to the normal uh, control panel. We have really got our, our coffee over here. 41 ml, this is our yield, and I've done 18.5. So that's how we do the calibration uh, for this machine, uh, the strata. The next thing that we need to do to even our work as baristas, I need to copy this dose from this group at one to group at two. There's no need of calibrating this uh, group at again. So the machine has been programmed so nicely, whereby after doing the calibration, you can actually copy this dose to this dose. If I was doing a single shot, I'll also copy this dose to this dose. But in our case, we have done 18 grams, double shot to 41 ml, our heat. So how do we copy? You long press this button over here, the way I'm long pressing. It will take us to the, pro, uh, to the calibration mode uh, here. So what do we do? We go to the, the group dose setting uh, over here. Then we accept by pressing the program uh, button it will take us to the program volume dose so remember we want to copy the dose so if i press the enter it will prompt it will prompt us to a uh, calibration you don't have to calibrate so you navigate with this button over here until you see a place written copy so i'll start by pressing this one it will go to group dose, group dose one setting i don't want to do this I don't want to do this. I want to copy. So what do you want to copy? I want to copy the calibration we did. So I want to copy this from this, this group to this group. So I have to accept I want to copy though. How do you accept? By pressing the, the menu button. Then you'll be asked, push to copy. What do you want to copy? 
I want to copy this dose to this dose. So I'll push this dose. The machine will start blinking. You see the machine is blinking. So it's telling me copy from where? Copy from here to here. Then I'll come and press also this one once. Okay. So it means that these two have been copied. So push to enter and paste that one, then I will exit.